You play Fl Flynn, um, kind of the villain, but I feel like he's not really, especially based on something he said to Lucy's character in the Abraham Lincoln episode. Can you expand maybe on what his real intentions are? Because we're only getting little snippets of him so far. Um, we have to have a good balance between telling too much and telling too little. Uh, like Eric said before, he's definitely, he hates those everlasting teasers. So we're going to be giving answers fairly quickly, but we can't do it right away in first two episodes. So we are going to be teasing a little bit. But we're going to get fairly honest answer about everything about Flynn, why is he doing certain things by episode seven. Um, up to then, we're going to fairly, we're going to understand probably why, because they say in the beginning, you know, that he killed his own family. I mean, immediately when you, when you meet Flynn and when you see how passionate he is about certain things, is he really so maniacal that he would kill his own family? You know, I don't think so. So those are the questions we're going to be kind of posing for Flynn. And then when you see what he does, I mean, things seem completely evil and crazy. And then afterwards, you're going to discover a huge conflict in him that he really believes that he must do these things in order to achieve greater good. Now, a greater good is a tricky term, you know. I mean, Hitler used it in the Second World War, you know. I'm going to get rid of all the Jews for greater good of Germany. I mean, it's kind of like crazy. But then when, you, when, you, when, we, when we see more of him through the future, we're going to see that there is much more to him and that he really has some... He kind of plants the seeds of suspicion in our heroes team that they start thinking wait a second why is he doing he what he's doing and is there is there anything more so so it's going to be interesting we're going to see we're going to see many more things to come okay very cool and kind of playing on that like he says to lucy you know i'm trying to save america is the show only going to be american history uh can we look towards any other history? I mean, the first episode sort of had European-American combined. Well, look, we're going, to be, we're going to be going into really important events in the history. Now, if you're talking about the Second World War, if United States didn't jump in, God knows what would happen. So United States is a big part of the world history. If you're going to the moon landing, I mean, that was a world history. I mean, when I was a kid, I was born, I was born in what then was Yugoslavia, but I was proud of the moon landing achievement as a humanity, you know. So the U.S. is a big part of human history, so we're going to be heavily influenced by that. But again, you know, we're doing Second World War Germany. My character speaks German with some German officials. Then, you know, we're doing the Alamo, which is uh, Mexico and the United States, you know. So it's going to be, we're going to be moving all around the world, you know. The, the important events that did change human history, but with the heavy accent of the United States, because since the beginning of this nation, uh, this nation's been influencing a lot of world history, so it's going to be heavier on that. You know, it's going to be a lot of Cold War. It's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of interesting history in general. Cool. And if you had to jump backwards in time to any event, what would you choose? Oh my God! I mean, that I'm, I'm a huge history fan, and I I really can't choose one period. I mean, I can talk to you about. I mean, oh my God! I would love to see how the pyramids were built. I would love to visit my hometown. Uh, that's pretty much the old town is unchanged for the last 500 years, except, you know, maybe the windows and the satellite dishes and stuff. But the core of the city, the cathedral, you know, everything is unchanged for the last five, six hundred years. I would love to see how people used to live then on the same streets that I'm walking today in my hometown. I mean, so many things I would love to see. And, you know, the show is a little bit of a time capsule for us. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. Thank you.